Springfield school leaders decide not to vote on a controversial move to bring the district in line with federal guidance. I'm Mike Landis. Thanks for joining us tonight. And I'm Lauren Barnes. For more than a year now, schools have been trying to decipher a USDA Biden administration policy, saying discrimination based on sexual orientation and gender identity is now a Title IX violation and could result in districts losing millions in federal funding, namely for free and reduced school lunches. Now that vote would have decided whether or not to add the words gender identity and sexual orientation to the district's anti-discrimination policy. Fox 49 Shadai Tomlin is live following that meeting tonight. That's right, and the board decided to table this issue indefinitely um, or until the board decides to bring it up again. My brain could not even begin to understand why the board would even consider gambling $7.5 million in USDA grants in over two inclusive sentences. At Tuesday night's meeting, the Springfield School Board discussed adding gender identity and sexual orientation to the anti-discrimination policy for school lunches, but ultimately tabled the issue. This proposed policy change stems from a requirement by the U.S. Department of Agriculture for districts participating in the free and reduced price lunch program and receiving the $7 million. For districts participating and receiving the $7 million for federal free and reduced price lunch program. What we're saying is that the USDA has required us to place these in our policies in order to continue to receive funding. The USDA's guidance is a clear attempt to bully good Americans into accepting beliefs regarding sex and gender with which they disagree. In September, the board was split three to three on the update. The board president emphasized the importance of involving all seven members in the decision, leading to a revisit in tonight's meeting. If the term sex already includes gender identity and sexual orientation, what's the harm in actually adding those four or five words, if you use the word and, in there? It's not taking away any additional control because it's already there. Most students in the district qualify for free and reduced price meals. Some argue that the interpretation of sex in the language covers gender identity and sexual orientation. The vote for tonight's the vote to table tonight's issue was four to three, leaving the policy unchanged since 2021. Reporting live in Springfield, I'm Shadiah Tomlin, Fox 49 News.